One of the biggest common myths about success is that it's a matter of luck. Look, life has luck and bad luck. That happens along the way. Don't get into the idea that success is a matter of luck because what happens when you think things are due to chance is that you withdraw effort. There's so much research about people quitting when they think their results are due to luck. It's when you withdraw effort. You don't keep going at something. Persistence depends on you knowing and deciding and staying with the idea that it's my efforts that count. Number two, success is due to connections. It's who you know, not what you know. Look, this is a lot of nonsense. It doesn't hurt to get to know people. In fact, it helps. But it's not a matter of who you know, not what you know. What you know is incredibly important. Or when you meet the people you think are the people you should know, they're gonna go, hey, doesn't know anything. You've got to know something. You've gotta know your craft. Dump the myth about connections. Get all the connections you can get, but it's not a matter of connections. It's a matter of you having competency. You've got to have competency. Third myth, if you become successful, you'll lose all your friends. Come on. If you have friends who turn against you because you're a success, you've got to scratch your head hard and ask yourself, were these really my friends? I don't think if somebody abandons you because you're successful, because they attribute to you that now you're too holy and too wonderful or whatever to deign to talk to them, that's their invention. Your true friends are gonna love you and they're gonna celebrate your success. They're not gonna abandon you. And if they do abandon you, I really think they probably weren't that much your friend. Now, if you come off like you're some kind of prima donna, hey, you're gonna lose friends, but that's new friends and old friends. Because people are gonna tolerate you because they get money from you or they get something from you, but you're not gonna have friends. You need friends. Treasure your friends, hang on to your friends. You no reason to lose them though because you're successful. That's just really an excuse that expresses your hesitancy about taking the risks involved with being a success. Here's another myth. There's a myth that success is due to some special gift. People who become a success are gifted in some unique way that sets them apart, like, they're, like they have the success gene. Come on, there isn't a success gene. Some people are more devoted to following through on their ideas and persisting and staying with them. And persistency and consistency are the things that get you toward your goals. Don't buy into that other stuff. It's, it's bogus. Here's a related myth, that success requires your growing up in a particular kind of family, a family that has a history of success, because otherwise, how would you know what success is and how would you seek it? And if you're bereft of having had the kind of nurturing parents and people who are connected to the country club and this and that and the other thing, that you're just not gonna make it. Like it's, there's the them and you're not a part of the club. This is bogus. Again, I hate to tell you this, but it's actually a place to hang out and avoid taking the risk of really moving forward. That's a myth that's serving the worst kind of part of, the, of anything that will lead to success on your part. Don't go for that. Here's another one about success. That to be a success, you have to be a, a, like a money-hungry, backstabbing, scurrilous, nasty villain. And you have to be after people and you have to be driven and you have to be hard and you have to be greedy. There may be people like that, but in a way, that level, that's almost like something from the movies. It's grade B movie too. Don't go for that kind of stuff. Don't tell yourself that kind of stuff. There is no reason that you can't be the most warm, deep, devoted person in the world to all the things that matter to you and you can still be a success. It is not an either or. Do not hide behind some sanctimonious idea that I would be a success, except I don't wanna be one of those driven hard guys. 
It's just not an either or. And it doesn't have to be a both either. You do not have to be that kind of person. And finally, and this is a, a myth also, success is more trouble than it's worth. Look, you've got problems now. Here's what's gonna happen if you're a success. You're gonna have problems then too, but they're more interesting problems, way more interesting problems. In fact, any pursuit that takes you farther always involves trading out problems that were crummy and boring and devastating and useless for much more interesting problems that involve fantastic ideas that you need to develop. And yes, now you run into a problem. Of course, there's always something to overcome, but how groovy to be overcoming problems that you're excited about the outcome. Solving problems is one of the most interesting things you can do in life. So ask yourself, what are the myths that you keep in place that block your progress and keep you from actually taking the risk of stepping out and going for something closer to your ideal life, to your dream, the thing you want to leave behind? Since you're a high achiever, you may know about this. High achievers often hit a wall. They're going along, they're having one success after another, and then suddenly something happens and they grind to a halt. And it's confusing because they're not sure what it is they've done wrong, if it's anything. They just know that they're not moving anymore the way they're used to moving, the way they have moved in the past. If you've run into like what seems like a ceiling over you and you're kind of in a fog and you're mystified as to what's getting in your way, you can even kind of slide into a swirl of doubts and wonder if you've ever really achieved anything significant at all. And whether any of your amazing achievements that you've done were anything but kind of fronting or a little bit of a fraud. That is really negative and pernicious and it doesn't have to be that way. I want you to go get a free report from me. Go to drkenchristian.com forward slash breakthrough and receive from me this free report with action steps that are gonna tell you exactly what to do now to get you going.